In today's video, I'm talking to you about where lazy people go to get a loan. Where do they go to get financing? Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, we all have potentially somebody in our family that is lazy, you know, slothful, man or woman, don't want to work for whatever reason, possibly entitled, but think that they deserve the world. In today's video, Man, I'm talking to you about where do these people go for financing? Where do they go to a loan? And it won't shock you because it's not your traditional bank. You know, say for instance, if you wanted to get a, a short-term personal loan, six months, a year, something like that, you know, you got credit built up, you go down there, get approved, you're good to go. But there are people out there that they pretty much live their life, and I'm using family as an example. But these people uh, are even outside of your family. There are plenty of them in the world. Men out here that don't want to work to eat, you know, to be able to provide for themselves and their loved ones. So what do they do? These are the people that, uh, you know, try to hood, wink, and bamboozle you. These are those family members. Call you out the blue and you ain't talked to them for years. But somebody in your family told them a testimony that you're doing good and now they have a new bank that they're gonna try to scam, which is you. And I tell you, man, I, I, I don't, when it comes to family, and I know they don't keep the commandments and, and, and do that, there's a high probability they're not gonna pay you back. I got one person in my family that I know if I give some money to, I don't even need to put a timeline or anything on uh, getting paid back because that brother is solid and that's my brother. That's the only person in my family. You know, he would pay it forward. Whereas some of these other people in your family, man, they're there. Instead of going down to the bank and hearing that they got denied because they didn't jack their credit up because they're not trustworthy. What do they do? Call you, man. I heard you doing good, man. I'm so proud of you. Especially the older people that are older than you. They're real good at it. Man, you know, when I was little, man, I used to change your diaper in and do this and do that and, 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 and take you to get a candy bar and this. You're doing real good for yourself, man, I'm proud. And then you ask that question, well, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing real bad. You know, things is, things is looking real rough. This is your own blood family. And here's what you do, man, I need to borrow. You know good and well, you don't have no extra money to give away, but you do have some money and savings. That's your rainy day fund. Man, you know, I just need to borrow about 2200 and I get that back to you. You know I'm good for it. Get these people money, you don't never hear from them. You know, we was real tight when you was little. Yeah, that's because you little and can't discern. I'm telling you, you got a lot of slothful people that sit around and plot. I got some of them in my immediate family. They sit around on and plot on your come up. And this is why a lot of families is jacked up. Some of these family members, you got to tell them, if they not a commandment keeping uh, individual, don't fear the most high y'all, man, they'll burn you in a heartbeat. And you have to tell them, hey man, I don't do, I don't do no loans. I ain't got no money to loan out, but the bank does. Tell them just like that, but the bank does. I'm pretty sure that if somebody like you a good upstanding citizen, Somebody that's always kept your word, I'm pretty sure they'll loan you some money. But me, myself, I don't have no money to loan. Not to somebody that's got a reprobate, heathen mind. And that's what they want you to have. They want you to be out here lost. And that's what they have. They want you to be out here struggling because they ain't going to never pay you back. It's never on their heart to pay you back. You got family, man, that will allow you, say, for instance, if you got money for groceries, man, they'll beg and try to borrow your doggone money that pertains to your livelihood and then be out balling on it. 
be out at the casino with your money. How many times have we seen stories where uh, people have fell out because somebody owes somebody money, but they out living their best life? This is, I'm telling you, up close, front, and personal. Your own family will do this. And if you don't believe me, you know, well, watch, I'm telling you. The people in the world don't owe you nothing. They don't know you, they don't care about you, and your own family, you've been deceived and think that they actually are gonna keep their word and they'll burn you in a heartbeat. Uncles, grandmamas, aunties, cousins. Soon as somebody give them a testimony, oh yeah, you're doing good, I'm proud of you. You know, you know he didn't got he didn't graduate you know he making he live on the side of town making over a hundred thousand dollars right that's what they do bumping their guns telling all your business and then you get these people calling you and i'm telling you how to handle it because these people will work iniquity against you see in israel we ain't supposed to charge a brother interest we can charge a heathen interest but we can't charge a, a brother in the body interest don't let don't don't even let some of these uh these these uh Sunday keeping Christians don't even let them dog on hood wink you. Don't even let them do it because they transgress the commandments. They don't keep it. Burn you in a heartbeat. You sitting up thinking you doing a good service and it's been a scam from the get go. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight. <sighs>